Hi everyone, uh, in our previous video we have discussed about cucumber expressions. Now we are going to discuss about uh, data table type uh, and how we can transform this particular data which we have in data tables into a Java object, right? Uh, this transformation uh, will help us to increase the readability because you readability of your step definition because you are not doing transformation within each step def you are doing the transformation in one single place and your step definition will then automatically use the desired data types and then perform operation on that now uh, this is the basic about that let us discuss some of the more concepts about this so for that i have opened this uh, readme file so the data table uh, type this is the annotation that we are going to use right and what it will do it will convert the data tables into your feature from your feature file into the de uh, desired java objects now the key concept uh, you can have the data table within your gherkins either you can have like three or four rows or multiple rows where each row will have uh, some kind of data within it right so I, with each row I, I meant that even the first row will contain the data right so there can be two type of scenario maybe you locate your first row to just contain the headers right maybe first name last name uh, result or some other thing or you can have the other case where in the first row as well you are containing the data about some particular entity so in the first case where you are having using headers you will use map of uh, maybe string of string right but in the second case where you are saying that each row is uh, instead of uh, having first row as a header we in the first row as well we are keeping the data as well then we will have list of list of string right so this is the data table in gherkin then you want to transform the data and a data table within your feature file into some java object so that will hap happen with this particular annotation data table type right and iteration this we will understand uh, but before that let me show you this demo right because if we will just straight away go through this iteration it can get a bit confusing so what i'll show you now it is the part of our demo so here we have a uh, given statement here we have the data table entry we are seeing the following students exist where this particular first row is used as a header that means we are talking about map of string of string right and then uh, we have the we are updating the last name for Rahul like wherever we have the first name as Rahul we are updating it to Mehta and then in the end we are just asserting like this a name is updated and our other part of the data tables remains the same right so now coming about this uh, transformation how this transformation is happening so this is our one student this is our second student right and this is the first name of the student this is the second name of the student so we have uh, two entries within our hash map one for this particular record right first name Rahul last name Rai so these will be the keys of your hash map and then second is for first name is uh, this Rohan and then last name as Mehra right now uh, here we are using list of students so in the end uh, we are passing each of this entry as a list of student but this transformation like this data table converting into a student entry this is happening in this particular method now this name you can keep any name you want we do not need to use it anywhere like in our previous video we when we were defining the custom data uh, custom parameter type in cucumber we were using this within our uh, step as well right but as uh, for data table we do not need to define anything in this kind of statements uh, it comes directly as part of argument so we do not need to use this name anywhere right this will be the return type now you can see here we are using student and here we have list of students so that is the real concept here when we are talking about data table type each entry of your map 
for each row you can say after your header row of course uh, because here your header is a kind of key of your map so each entry you can say with the, from the data table type will first come into this right and it will happen with uh, because of this data table type annotation right so cucumber will send each entry of your data table first into this then that transformation will happen then the second entry will go again the transformation will happen if there are more entries those will also come and the transformation will happen and in the end we'll have a list of student right so that's how this work and this is what we have mentioned here that iteration over rows happen behind the scene in cucumber for each row in the data table cucumber automatically calls the method with the corresponding map of string of string now the same transformation will happen here as well so that that is the main thing like we are mentioning that transformation logic once uh, note for every method within your step definitions and it can happen across step definition as well but for this demo i have just taken one step definition and of course in case you have multiple step definition then you will use session variable concept to share the variable uh, within in a particular session and that can be reused in different step steps as well right so now uh, here the concept is the, like we have taken a variable for this demo uh, this variable is list of student and we are updating this with the value that we have received here after the transformation happened uh, regarding this transformation here we have just taken a basic pojo uh, having which uh, where we have used lombok so this data annotation will set the uh, setter and getter method this is uh, having all argument constructor that means it will also con it will build a parameterized type constructor in this particular class for these two attribute because here i have mentioned all arguments that means whatever the property we have we shall have a constructor for uh, every that uh, attribute that we have there so here you can see we are just iterating through this map and getting the first name getting the last name setting it into the student object now here we just updated our str entry uh, sorry sts entry with the student list of student here right then we are just sorting this to just see the value you can just uh, you can just uh, sort this as well then uh, here we had to modify uh, the wherever we had the given first name which we have mentioned in our feature file we are we were updating the last name for that first name so we have done it here right and in the end here we are just checking the updated uh, student entries student details so again that transformation came into the picture here we got the list of student from our feature file uh, where we have mentioned the expected values and then this is our actual value which we have uh, modified for this particular list of student and then we are just kind of comparing them whether both of the both of these are equal or not so just let me trigger this and we shall see uh, the test should pass and we can see in s out i have printed the values as well so we can see whether the values are getting updated or not yeah so here uh, this was the student object so you can see the transformation has happened this data table was converted into student uh, this was the name and then here we updated the Rahul uh, this particular with the last name that we have provided here Mehta and then here we can see uh, the transformation happened it was updated right and in the end we just compare them and both came to be equal as expected now let us see what uh, so here we can see a few of the benefits now the first benefit being is improved readability uh, because you have uh, transformed your particular data table type into a list of student and we know that whenever we are talking about java objects we can relate the things with the real world instead of uh, using some data table type which can have a lot of rows a lot of columns right it can get become it can become a little bit difficult 
when you are just updating a particular uh, say index on basis of some index right uh, for a particular collection it can get difficult uh, whenever we are discussing about uh, updating updation happening on basis of java objects it is more readable right and more maintainable as well uh, how it is more maintainable because we have made a change the transformation logic is at one place whenever a change will be required that change will be required in that transformation logic only you do not need to go into the step definition and change it uh, across different step definitions so it increases the readability maintainability and then uh, data management is easy that comes under uh, like uh, because we have now everything in form of object like we had to update our student where the name was Rahul so we can think of a real world student and we can update it on basis of that instead of just playing it on the collection level so transforming data tables into object allow you to leverage Java's powerful data handling capabilities right of course you can use it uh, uh, with the help of collections as well but if the collection size is increased then it will become difficult uh, to just kind of uh, think it in your mind and update it on basis of that now uh, how to use data table type uh, define the data table type create a data table in your Gherkin feature file as we have just done and then implement this uh, data table type annotation in your step definition to specify how each row in the table should be converted into a Java object right so that's it for this video guys uh, hope you are liking the content that I'm making please do like share and do subscribe see you in the next video thank you